Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we'll be solving one very, very interesting and challenging question from radical equations, which we are going to solve for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. So I will begin with writing LHS. Radicant must be positive for x to be real. Right hand side must be positive as the square root will give us positive number only. So from our left side condition, I will write 5 minus x should be greater than 0. Or I can write x should be less than 5. So this is one condition from left hand side. Now we will calculate condition from right hand side. 5 minus x square, this should be positive. We'll multiply this inequality by negative 1 and we can write x square minus 5. This should be less than 0. Now we can write our inequality as x square minus square root 5 whole square is less than 0. Now we can apply difference of two squares identity here and we can write x plus square root 5 in one bracket times x minus square root 5 in other. This product should be less than 0. Now we will write our RHS condition x must be in the interval minus square root 5 to plus square root 5. So this is condition from our right hand side or RHS. Now I can take intersection of these two conditions and we will write our final domain x must lie in the interval minus square root 5 to plus square root 5. So we are going to pick those solutions only where x is lying in this interval. Now we have to solve our equation. I will consider squaring both sides first. So square root 5 minus x whole square equal to 5 minus x square whole square. Now we can cancel square root with square in LHS. We will write our equation 5 minus x. This will be equal to 5 minus x square whole square. Now we will subtract x square from both the sides minus x square. So this side also will write minus x square. So from LHS we will take minus 1 common. So I can write minus times in the bracket x square plus x minus 5. In RHS we will apply difference of two squares identity and we can write here 5 minus x square plus x a plus b times a minus b so 5 minus x square minus x or we can write minus of x square plus x minus 5 will be equal to I will take negative 1 common from here and negative 1 common from here. So I can write minus 1 times x square minus x minus 5. And minus 1 is common from second bracket also. So we will write here x square plus x minus 5. Now minus 1 times minus 1 will give us plus 1. So I can write minus of x square plus x minus 5. This will be equal to x square minus x minus 5 times x square plus x minus 5. Now we will take all the terms to RHS. So I can write here x square minus x minus 5 
writing RHS first, x square plus x minus 5 plus x square plus x minus 5 equal to 0. Now we will take x square plus x minus 5 common out. So I can write here x square plus x minus 5 common. So in other bracket I can write x square minus x minus 5 plus 1 equal to 0. So x square minus x minus 5 plus 1 will give us x square minus x minus 4. So I will write here x square plus x minus 5 times x square minus x minus 4 equal to 0. Now we can apply product 0 rule. Factorization is done. So we can write either x square plus x minus 5 equal to 0 or x square minus x minus 4 equal to 0. So I will use quadratic formula to solve our first quadratic equation. So I can write here formula first. x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, if I will write the values of a, b and c, a is equal to 1 coefficient of x square, b equal to 1 coefficient of x and c is negative 5, the constant term. Let us apply formula, x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 is square 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 5. So minus 4 times minus 5 will give us plus 20. And denominator will be 2 times 1, so 2. So I can write x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus a square root of 1 plus 20 is 21 over 2. Now we have to solve second quadratic equation x square minus x minus 4 equal to 0. For this quadratic a is 1, b is negative 1 and c is negative 4. Let us use quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus of minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 and denominator will be 2 times 1 so 2. So I can write here 1 plus minus a square root of 1 plus 4 times 4 is 16 over 2 or I can write x will be equal to 1 plus minus a square root of 17 over 2. So we have got 4 real solutions. Let me write here x equal to minus 1 plus minus a square root of 21 over 2 and we have calculated 1 plus minus a square root of 17 over 2. Now we have to check which solution is lying in the interval minus a square root 5 to plus a square root 5. This was our domain. So I need to write our answers minus 1 plus square root 21 over 2, minus 1 minus square root 21 over 2, 1 plus square root 17 over 2, 1 minus square root 17 over 2. Now we will calculate approximate values. So if I will write for first value 
approximate it is minus 1 plus a square root 21 over 2 is approximately 1.8 minus 1 minus a square root 21 over 2 approximately minus 2.8 1 plus root 17 over 2 approximately this is 2.51 and last value is approximately minus 1.51 now we have to reject these two because 1.8 is lying in this interval and minus 1.5 is also lying in the interval so we can write our final answer as x equal to minus 1 plus square root 21 over 2 and second solution we will write 1 minus square root 17 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.